Good morning. 30. Hello, my darling, adorable son. Hi, Mom. How's it going? Let's see if we can get this semi to honk. We're in the rice fields, and today in this tractor video, we're going to be building back up our levees with this Case 7240. It's our oldest tractor that we have, 1995 I think. It's got 10,000 hours on it. It's hooked up to our ridger. I'm gonna explain all that coming up. All right, let's work. Wait a second guys, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell notification, and check out my 2020 crop year playlist down in the description. All right, now back to the intro. It's the 2020 crop year. My name is Matthew Sliger. That's right, we're out in California planting rice by air. Welcome to the rice fields. Ride with me from planting to harvest. This is California Rice, my friends. You're watching Rice Farming TV. Sweet, now let's get a closer look to the ridger, which is hooked up to the K7240 here. As you can see, it's comprised of five disc blades on each side. One, two, three, four, five. These are gonna be turning and tilling dirt. Coming over to the other side, there's the other five. Looking back behind the ridger, you can see when in action, drop them into kind of a upside down V formation. I'm going to straddle the levee here with the tractor and then just till up this entire levee. Check out these tulies here. You can see the burn marks. So back in a past episode of Rice Farming TV, you remember when we burn back the weeds so we can do this operation with the ridger, build the levees back up. Now with the weeds out of there, we're just working clean soil. If those tulies were all still there, that would just get in between the soil and the disc blades of the ridger and it wouldn't really work that well. So if you haven't seen the burning video, I dropped my phone. The links to those videos are also down in the description. So what's left now? Well, to hop into the ridger and start getting to work. Enough blabbering and bothering. Let's go. By the way, just look at how dry and cracked the soil is. We could definitely be working the ground right now, but we're not. Rain is on the forecast. And when we hop into the tractor, I'll explain again why we're not working the ground as we wait for the rain to pass. Yeah, because there's been just a couple questions about that in the comment section. But first, we gotta get this tractor running. We're losing daylight. All right, welcome inside. Let me give you a tour around the cockpit here. This is one of the last tractors that we have that actually uses linkage for shifting gears and throttling up and also using your implements. The ridger behind me, of course, is hooked up to the three point. These levers here will drop and raise the gang of disc blades. Here is my gear shifter. It's in park right now. I'll drag it down and over into this slot here for reverse or drag it down and over put it into neutral and then of course shift gears. I'll be ridging in seventh gear. Here's the throttle. So that sounds pretty good. And the last thing I'm going to show you before we get going is how the three point operates. This lever here is how you normally raise and lower the three point. This is kind of a quick button, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the three-point right here at this depth. It's a predetermined depth that Pops helped me come to. And then this right here would just, with the click of the button, lower the three-point all the way to this setting. Or this side of the button raises the three-point all the way up. And I'll be using that to get on and off the levee. So that's the cockpit tour. Now that we know how the machine works and how we're gonna be using the functions, the tractor is running, it's time. Don't worry, I'll come and pick you back up in a second.
So behind the ridger you're seeing a lot of dust and a lot of uh, soot from when we burned back the weeds. Anyway, come on, let's go inside. All right, and away we go. Now in terms of driving on a levee, it's pretty easy because you just kind of let the levee guide you. You don't want to get too squirrely because then you'd make your levee squirrely. A lot of people ask why do they sometimes see contoured levees? Well that's old school. People would do contoured levees winding through the field because that's how they would segregate the field into smaller sections following the natural grade of the field. So if there was a high spot and a low spot, they divide that by a contoured levee. Most of the rice fields out here now have either been GPS or laser leveled, so we've got them graded perfectly and that's why we have straight levees. Anyway, I'm coming to the end of this levee, right up there. I don't want to hit the box, so I'm gonna just slam on the brake throttle down, put it into reverse, hit the up button, raising the ridger, using my hydraulics to flatten out the disc blades, and just backing up slightly. The reason I flatten out my disc blades is because when I come off the levee, as I'm about to do now, just shifting it into drive, I don't want to skim the crown of the levee with my disc blade still down in the upside down V position. All right, so I think right now I will just find some spots to mount the GoPro so you can travel along with me outside and really get a sound for the squeaking of the ridger. All right? So Check it out. Gotta watch out for the duck blinds. All righty, welcome back inside everybody. I hope you enjoyed it out there and I hope it didn't get too dusty for you. So why are we ridging the levees? That's probably going to be the number one question. Why are you ridging the levees? Well, we need to ridge the levees anyway and usually we do three passes during our groundwork preparation before seeding. So we're knocking out a pass right now. Also, quite frankly, we're just looking for something to do because with this warm weather, we can do a lot of field work, although we're hesitant to do too much because we do know that there is rain in the forecast. So a lot of you still are asking why aren't we ripping? Why aren't we using the chisel plows? Why aren't we disking if the ground is ready as we're waiting for rain? Well, the reason is, again, I'm going to make this quick because a lot of you know this already, we do not want to mess what we have up out there. A sealed over field, so if it does rain, it should just puddle up on the surface. And what we also have out there are our drains, the most important thing. The drains are still there. If we were to rip up the ground right now, we'd have to take those drains out. Then when it rained, we'd have a sponge with the opened up soil and no drains to carry the water off. So for those two reasons, the ground is nice and sealed over, the water should puddle up, 
and we have our drains so those puddles of water should just flow right off the field. So when the rainy season is over or when we have many dry days in the forecast, we will come out, have a dry field as quick as possible after the rains and we'll start working it up. That's why. Well, I got one more levee out here and then we're gonna road this bad boy to some off the main ranch rice field. So stay tuned for that. All right, I'm gonna hop off the levee here. This field is done. That means this ranch is done. Yeah, I've been working on this a long time. And I love working this field because it's the southernmost field on the ranch, which means it gets us real close to the Sutter Buttes. There's a levee here that runs along the Cherokee Canal. I'm gonna pop up on it so I can give you the view of the buttes that I had just a second ago. Can you see him there? Kind of got the tree line in the way. Let me give you a higher look. Anyway, Sutter Buttes, hope you enjoyed. Now let's get back down to the tractor. And to the fuel wagon before we rode this bad boy. Whoa. all fueled up and ready to go now since we're roading it I am going to take it out of four-wheel drive by clicking the magic button but because it's lunchtime and I'm gonna need a ride soon I better check in with pops and see if he can give me a ride or if I should get lunch first because I think he's getting lunch right now stand by also this is gonna give me a great opportunity to give you guys hey pops should I go get lunch or should I go up to North Baker Senior first? I'll go get lunch first. All right. See ya. All right. So, um, yeah, I was saying <laughs> that uh, roading this is going to give me a great opportunity as I close out this video to give you a tour, you know, around the rice fields. You'll see who's working, what's happening with fields out there, and I'll show you some highlights of the commute. Anyway, but I'm going to get lunch first, so no sense having this running. Now, of course, I've got to call mom to see if she has a lunch for me. I'm 30. Hello, my darling, adorable son. Hi, mom. How's it going? Yeah. Are you coming over for lunch today, Sugar Bear? Yeah, I am. Do you have something? I starved your papa last night. Nice. No, I'm just um, yes, I saved a uh, couple of pieces of those chicken. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, I definitely have something for you. Sweet. I'll be home soon. And we're back. You ready to go on our commute? 7240's ready. On our way. I'm just going to point out some things that we see along the way. So buckle up and enjoy the ride. There's an old tillage disc. Trailers. That new blue set's mine. Got them last year. I'll be driving in 18th gear top speed, which I think is about 25 miles per hour um, once we get out onto the asphalt. There's our deep well pump. We might have to run that if it doesn't start raining. Slight technical difficulties. I'm heading back to my pickup truck to grab my keychain because the gate to get out of this main ranch is locked. I was given some bad information. Well, there's the red disc again. And 
There's the gate. And that's the bridge beyond the gate. That's the ditch. Come on, let's go. We gotta make up for time. Easy. Easy. All right, we're hitting the open road. Let's gear up all the way. Fourteen. Fifteen. 16, 17, 18, top speed! Woohoo! Check your mirrors. All right, we're going 20 miles per hour. Let's do it. No problems with the displays back there, right? Out here, we're coming up on Uncle Jimmy and the Boys Seed Storage Facility. Earlier in the year, they were cleaning out their seed and preparing it for growers who were going to need it for this year's planting season. So that is what is in those grain bins right now. Their stored seed for this year. Hey, Uncle Jimmy! Woo! Up here, we're coming to Clarence Williams Ag Strip, Williams Flying Service. There's. Clarence Williams himself doing some gardening. Looks like the pilots are coming in. They got their RVs. They're gonna just live here for the season as they'll be busy flying. This is who we use to apply our seed and pest management applications. Unfortunately, although the hangar doors are open over there, no planes are out for us to see. Come on, CW, where are the planes at, man? Anyway, nice open roads, that's what I like. I haven't passed one car, nor been passed by a car yet. Oh, looks like somebody's got a land plane for sale. Railroad tracks. Here we're coming up on Bucra's off-site additional storage and drying facility. Bucra stands for Butte County Rice Growers Association. So this is where rice is stored and dried right after harvest. This is a traffic jam, basically. That's okay. Let's see if we can get this semi to honk. No. Let's see if we can get this semi to honk. I'm gonna open my door this time. Nope. Man. He gave us a head nod, though. I guess truck drivers don't do that anymore. Another train track. Whoa. I think that's Cousin Eric's pickup truck. All right, let's throttle down. That's where we're going. Those are the levees we're gonna attack. Where do I wanna dip into the field at? Well, this seems good right about here, doesn't it? these drains here. Alright. Let me just position the tractor up on the levee. And I'll be right with you. Just gonna back up into position. Four-wheel drive. Angling my ridger blades. Put it in park for the time being. Throttle down and lower the ridger. So we're all set up back there. Okay, all set. We're ready to start ridging again. I hope you all enjoyed this video on how we build our levees back up in our rice fields. If you did enjoy, give me a thumbs up. And if you also enjoyed the tour through the county to get from our main equipment yard over here to the furthest field that we farm from our equipment yard, also give me a thumbs up. I think we saw some interesting things along the way, right? Anyhow, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Hit the bell notification because I'm doing a lot of videos 
for the 2020 crop year and that playlist for the 2020 crop year is down in the description if you need to catch up. So thanks for watching everybody. I've got to get back to work. Lots of levees to Still Ridge out here, over there, and back there. Okay. Take care.